colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com. family. Vicki Dillard here. So pleased to be a contributor on African Diaspora News Channel. Please give your sister with the curly braids a big thumbs up, thumbs up and share this broadcast and network. Thank you so very much. Family, we have a very interesting story. You know that these close care and encounters that I do on a regular basis are so important to highlight because it shows the activity of the, the female white supremacists which is fully at work in the world. And it's not benign. It's not innocent. Uh, it's very dangerous. And it's very dangerous because the manner in which um, the female oppressor moves. For example, uh, in the case with Ethan Crumbly, Ethan Crumbly, the 15 year old mass terrorist, mass murderer, um, we found out that not only was it his was it his deadbeat dad that gave him um, his weapon four days before the incident, both of his parents were called into the school the same day that he blasted and blew off the heads of multiple people. I'm using that word figuratively, but destroyed lives and uh, injured many others, killed, uh, murdered four people and injured others. It was a mama daddy duo. And then we found out later, according to reports, that Ethan's mama, the Becky of it all, they found in text messages, communications between them, that she told her son that the thing that he did wrong was that he got caught. The mama teaches the fledgling white supremacist, soon to be white supremacist killer terrorist, that regular rules don't apply to him because clearly and obviously, ostensibly, he's white because he's white. This is what the reports show. Likewise, we see the activity of the Beckys attacking Dr. Bill Cosby. We see the Beckys that claim that they're so pressed, oppressed by their men, but they still turn around and vote for them in ever increasing numbers, including the ones that grab them by the you know what. Hello, Donald Trump. And hello, the 50 some odd percent of white women that voted for Trump and the so-called Jesus Beckys voted for him in even higher numbers. This report is talking about LeBron James and this Becky says he wanted her. ESPN host LeBron James claim after losing job. Now think about that headline here, quote, he wanted her. When you see that headline, he wanted her, that would give you the impression in most instances of some sort of a sexual relation situation, right? Listen to the story. It's still just as bad. A former ESPN host is accused Los Angeles Lakers star LeBron James of influencing the network to fire her from a prominent hosting job several years ago. So this Becky is sitting there complaining about something she alleges, 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 because we know they lie a lot. We know that the Beckys lie a lot. Becky prosecutors lie. Becky police officers lie. Black Beckys who wanted black men. You know what lies? Becky's lie in Walmart parking lots. Becky's lie a lot around these parts. Michelle B. B. Adela Beadle, B. E. A. D. L. E., the former host of ESPN's NBA Countdown program, has been discussing her broadcast career on a podcast, which is hosted by The Atlantic. The 46 year old claimed in a recent episode that she had learned of James's role in her demise at the network, which, which was ostensibly to have longtime collaborator Rachel Nichols promoted at ESPN. Now, family, first of all, nobody knows who this chick is and shouldn't know who she is. She should always henceforth, even forevermore, remain in obscurity. Nobody outside of her local town and post office should know who she is. She's clearly trying to level up by invoking her, his name. But for this headline to say he wanted her, 
gives the impression there was some sexual thing there. And then the fact it, when you read through it, find out that it was about a job situation, allegedly. Girl, don't nobody, ain't nobody stunting you. Becky, you wanted LeBron to be interested and to believe that you existed. My point of this broadcast today is to say, who cares? I don't care if LeBron wanted you out. Every position that most of the oppressive class has is because y'all don't level up on black people directly or indirectly. Girl, what do I care about that? Now, let me get on to my announcement about my webinar coming up January 2nd. Let's be clear. We don't care. What is Vicky's deep, powerful word for the broadcast? So caring. We do not care. This isn't groundbreaking news. We got so much black news going on. Our people are so oppressed. What we look like, Karen, if he did do it. We don't care, Karen. That's a t-shirt. We don't care, Karen. Talk black to me. <laughs> now, family, make sure that you join my absolutely amazing Back by Popular Demand Part 2 of my messenger code, my ancestral messenger code, DNA part one, where people throughout the United States and seven countries attended. It was an absolutely amazing success. I'm doing it again, but this time I'm taking you to new levels and I'm bringing on a very, very, very special black metaphysician, a brother who is the elite in the spiritual realm, who's gonna come bring us sacred secret wealth codes and unleash them into our DNA. But first beloved, I want to begin to drop secret of the ancestors, more secrets, more codes. Because when you're a spiritual person, you know you don't stop when it comes down to your power. You just reinforce more power. That's how you become a lifelong miracle worker. That's how you, by your frequenting the spiritual realm, become a frequency for all that is divine and good. Talk black to me. Go to OnPurposeWithVicky.com. It's January 2nd, one day after the New Year's. Save up your money. Use this as a holiday gift to bless all those that you love. There is a very, very reasonable investment because I find that those that make an investment take the work more seriously. I don't do spiritual tricks. I don't need tricks when I have magic. Beloved, but this is for serious people that want to take their lives to new levels. When you invest in your metaphysical life, it affects every area of your physical life. Let me say that again. When you invest in your metaphysical or your spiritual life, that's another word for spiritual, higher life, it affects every area of your physical life. So we're going to clean up your royal bloodline. Go to unpurposewithvicky.com. My website is below, unpurposewithvicky.com, unpurposewithvicky.com. Your life will never be the same. When you honor the ancestors, when you understand that the ancestors are a secret, sacred code for power that's in your royal bloodline and cells and melanin, you will take your life to new levels. It's no wonder NASA knows stuff about you that you don't know. It's no wonder the government knows stuff about you that you don't know. It's no wonder that the elite know things about you that you don't know. I'm bringing someone in that's giving us sacred, secret codes. And plus, I'm going to take you to the new level. So you know what I'm bringing to the table. It's already going to be followed by signs and wonders. And this is just going to take you even further. Are you ready for lift off again? Go to unpurposewithvicky.com. I can't wait to see you there. Mwah. The black community suffers from the worst health disparities. The Minister of Wellness Ministries is the only pro-black Bible-based health ministry of its kind. We teach biblical health principles that can eradicate obesity and disease. We have everything you need to feel better than you've ever felt in your life. Act now to get your biblical health ebook and DVD both for free. TheMinisterOfWellness.com, TheMinisterOfWellness.com. Hello everyone, please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.